So let's have a look at where we're up to with our 2D detailing. This is as far as we got last week, and I've now separated these based on an overlay of the section, so we have a better understanding of how they actually fit into the space. Now what I'm going to do first is to remove this roof. I just wanted to draw this roof as a traditional type of roof. I haven't added some of these elements, such as the Safit lining, and we're going to change this to represent the actual profile of the roof at, in our Thrill project. So let's copy this, move it away, keep it for later, drag a copy, and let's edit this to see what we're actually meant to be looking at. I'll delete the rafter and the roof sheeting. Now I could delete it completely, or I can just get rid of the bits that aren't necessary. We don't need to have a gutter, because we're going to be looking at the side. We'll keep the fascia, and that can become our barge. Now the rafter will be seen in the opposite direction. The insulation will be seen in the opposite direction, as we will be the roof batten. So we're sort of going to be flipping the relationship of these in a way. So we can take some of this information. We also see in this instance that a lot of this needs to change direction. So it's we're going to be changing a fair bit. So how do we make this into the other direction, into the other orientation, as if we're looking at the roof traveling down towards us? Let's move it all away and rotate it and we'll build it from the top up, from the bottom up. Let's remove this, remove this, remove this. How does it start? We're starting with a rafter and in this case the rafter will be rotated and we'll use this piece of timber, so we'll make it 45 but this time we're going to make it much bigger. So we'll make it 200, we'll make it 190 if we wanted to. And I can stretch these both together if I use the stretch tool. It's worth doing that. And I want to move this, drag, and have that sit over the top plate. Now where does my insulation sit? In this case I have insulation sitting between my rafters. So we'll drag this over. And we'll stretch it up so it's the height of the rafter. Now running across the top of the rafter is the roof batten. So we'll have this running in the opposite direction. And up Let's do it at 45. Enter. And now we need to have our roof sheeting placed in this direction. Now where do we get our roof sheeting from? Again, we can download that. We're looking for the profile that is, in this case, clip lock. Custom orb is too low pitch, so we can't use custom orb. We can't use roof tile because it's too low pitch. Now there's other options. We could use something like long line. There's different roof sheeting materials, so we have to find the appropriate one. So we'll stop now, and we'll find the appropriate reference information as a PDF or a DWG, and we'll drag it in so we can trace reference it and use it rather than needing to draw it or guess it ourselves.